Good morning, dear students. I hope you and your family are doing well during this time at home, respecting the quarantine. Buenos días, queridos alumnos. Espero que ustedes y su familia se encuentren muy bien en casa, respetando su cuarentena. Unit 1, Joy from Work. Class number 2. Materials. Book Teens in Motion 1 and the English Copybook. This week, you will do page 17 from your book. Materiales. Libro de inglés y cuaderno de inglés. Esta semana trabajarás en la página 17 de tu texto de inglés. Página 17. Class Objective. Objetivo de la clase. En el objetivo de la clase desarrollaremos una importante eh, habilidad que es la audición, que es la audición, la capacidad de poder oír una grabación y ustedes poder desarrollar el ejercicio. Here we have the listening. Listening, esta es la página 17. Listening file. Uh, you are going to listen a working interview. The name is the right person, the right person for the right job. Objetivo de la clase. Desarrollar la habilidad auditiva. Vas a escuchar una entrevista de trabajo, cuyo nombre es la persona correcta para el trabajo correcto. You are going to listen the recording three times. Number one, complete the general information, type of text, number of speakers, language used, specific details, applicants' personal information, and write true or false in front of the sentence, and explain Please, in English, uh, the false one. Then, number three, circle, circle, here, circle the applicant's qualities, the applicant's quality. Las eh, cualidades de los postulantes. De acuerdo a lo escuchado, usted va a encerrar en un círculo the qualities of the applicants. Number four. Here we have number four. All the, the topics during the interview. Uh, from one to four. Salary expectations, reasons for choosing the career, skills and ability the applicant can contribute to the company. Uh, answer the exercise of smart listening. Here we have the smart listening. Um, on your copybook, write three expressions for, for each sentence. Then answer the question, think critically. Think critically. Um, do you think John gets the job? Why or why not? Escucharás la grabación tres veces. Eh, primero, completar la información general. Eh, tipo de texto, número de hablantes, eh, lenguaje usado, formal o informal. Detalles específicos, información personal de los postulantes y responder verdadero o falso, y explicar las informaciones falsas. Luego, acá, encerrar en un círculo cada uno de estas cualidades, eh, las cuales tú vas a escuchar en la grabación. Y aquí tenemos ordenar eh, los tópicos, los temas, ya, del 1 al 4. 
Luego, en Smart Listening, responder este ejercicio en tu cuaderno y escribir expresiones que, se van a, que salen en la entrevista para cada una de estas oraciones. Luego, responder la pregunta del ejercicio Think Critically, que nos, nos dice, eh, ¿piensas tú o crees tú que John obtiene el trabajo? ¿Por qué o por qué no? Now, pay attention, poner mucha atención al audio de la grabación. Truck 11, Student's Book, Unit 1, Page 17, Exercise 1. So, John, you are a qualified chef, aren't you? Yes, I am. I graduated from the Culinary Academy three years ago. Why did you decide to become a chef? I have loved cooking since I was a small kid, and my dad is a professional chef as well. Is that right? And you live quite near our restaurant, don't you? I have lived in this neighborhood for nearly 20 years, literally just two streets away. Really? I understand that you're not interested in a full-time job, are you? Ideally, I'd like a part-time job, but a full-time job would be great too. Tell me, John, what is the most important thing you're looking for in a job? First of all, job stability, and the second thing is chances for promotion. What skills and abilities can you contribute to this company? Skills and abilities? I think I'm quite responsible. I'm punctual and I'm a hard worker, willing to learn new things. That's interesting. What are your salary expectations? I know I'm just starting, so my salary expectations are not excessive. And is there anything else you would like to add? I'm an honest person and if you hire me, you'll get an excellent worker. We are going to listen again. Truck 11. Student's Book. Unit 1. Page 17. Exercise 1. So, John, you are a qualified chef, aren't you? Yes, I am. I graduated from the Culinary Academy three years ago. Why did you decide to become a chef? I have loved cooking since I was a small kid, and my dad is a professional chef as well. Is that right? And you live quite near our restaurant, don't you? I have lived in this neighborhood for nearly 20 years, literally just two streets away. Really? I understand that you're not interested in a full-time job, are you? Ideally, I'd like a part-time job, but a full-time job would be great too. Tell me, John, what is the most important thing you're looking for in a job? First of all, job stability, and the second thing is chances for promotion. What skills and abilities can you contribute to this company? Skills and abilities? I think I'm quite responsible. I'm punctual and I'm a hard worker, willing to learn new things. That's interesting. What are your salary expectations? I know I'm just starting, so my salary expectations are not excessive. And is there anything else you would like to add? I'm an honest person and if you hire me, you'll get an excellent worker. Now the last time you are going to listen. Truck 11. Student's Book. Unit 1. Page 17. Exercise 1. So, John, you are a qualified chef, aren't you? Yes, I am. I graduated from the Culinary Academy three years ago. Why did you decide to become a chef? I have loved cooking since I was a small kid, and my dad is a professional chef as well. Is that right? And you live quite near our restaurant, don't you? I have lived in this neighborhood for nearly 20 years, literally just two streets away. Really? I understand that you're not interested in a full-time job, are you? Ideally, I'd like a part-time job, but a full-time job would be great too. Tell me, John, what is the most important thing you're looking for in a job? First of all, job stability, and the second thing is chances for promotion. What skills and abilities can you contribute to this company? Skills and abilities? I think I'm quite responsible. I'm punctual and I'm a hard worker, willing to learn new things. 
That's interesting. What are your salary expectations? I know I'm just starting, so my salary expectations are not excessive. And is there anything else you would like to add? I'm an honest person and if you hire me, you'll get an excellent worker. Okay, thank you very much for your attention and remember to send your work to my email or Miss Patricia email. You can watch this recording on the YouTube channel CMCH. Goodbye and have a good week. Here, Miss Irene González speaking. Recuerda enviar tu trabajo a mi correo igonzalez.cmsh.maristas.cl o al correo de Miss Patricia a sus cursos correspondientes ppereda.cmsh.maristas.cl Y ahora nos vamos... a segundo medio, second grade. Good morning, dear students. We are going to start our second class uh, for the unit one. I hope you and your family are doing well during this time of quarantine. Eh, espero que ustedes y sus familias estén bien eh, durante este tiempo de cuarentena. Unit 1, Go Global. Class number 2. Materials, book Teens in Motion 2 and your English copybook. This week you will work on page 17 from your book of English. Página 17. Materiales. Libros. Libro Teens in Motion 2 y el cuaderno de inglés. Esta semana trabajarás en la página 17 de tu libro de inglés. Class Objective. To develop the listening. Auditive ability. To discriminate information. You are going to listen a recording about what is globalization. Objetivo de la clase. Desarrollar habilidades auditivas para discriminar información. Escucharás una grabación acerca de qué es la globalización. You are going to listen the recording three times. Number one. Uh, general information. Mark with a cross what kind of information it is for. Type of recording, speakers, purpose. You have to mark if it is a conversation, a lecture, or an interview. Here in speakers, you will mark if you listen a teacher and students or a journalist and, a, and an expert. The purpose, you are going to listen and you will choose if, if the purpose is, is to entertain, to inform, or to persuade. Specific details, main ideas. Complete the sentence, complete the sentence according to the information you listen. Main conclusion. Main conclusions. According to the information you listen, you will choose yes or not. Answer the question. Answer the question. How can you define globalization in your word? In your words. Please on your copybook. Then answer the exercise. Think of think critically. Uh, mention three, mention three positive and three negative effects of globalization on your copybook, please. Is globalization good or bad? 
here you will have to answer this question. Is globalization good or bad and why? Escucharás la grabación tres veces. Escucharás la grabación tres veces eh, y vas a ir marcando con una cruz la información general, tipo de audio, hablantes, el propósito. Detalles específicos, completar las oraciones de acuerdo a la información que escuchas. Conclusiones principales. Conclusiones principales. De acuerdo a la información escuchada, elegirás yes or not, marcando con una cruz. Responder en el cuaderno y definir con tus palabras el concepto de globalización. Número 5. Responder el ejercicio de Think Critically. Mencionar tres aspectos positivos de la globalización y tres aspectos negativos. ¿Ya? Now pay attention, here is the recording. We are going to listen it three times. Track 12, Students Walk, Unit 1, page 17, exercise 1. Professor Ramsey, can you explain what globalization is? Well, it's hard to define the term globalization briefly. It can be said that globalization is a process by which people, companies, and governments all over the world can integrate and interact. In other words, we can say that the world has become smaller and is now a village. A global village, isn't it? Correct! It is easier to do business because of better transport, the internet, and more trading between countries. It is also easier to work in another country. How has this happened? During the last three decades, a large number of governments around the world have been acquiring the systems of free markets and maximizing their potential and opportunities for international business. Additionally, they have been working towards the elimination of limitations to business and trade of goods and services across the world. Which are the most important factors behind this process? Well, there's little doubt that technology has been one of the chief drivers behind globalization and has transformed the habits of both consumers and marketers. Thanks to technology development, goods are easily transferred from and received by countries, and business deals, mergers, and acquisitions have become a common thing these days. Now, let me ask you a controversial question, Professor Ramsey. Is globalization a good or bad thing? <laughs> oh, that's a difficult question to answer. As you know, there are always two facets of the same coin, and globalization has many advantages, but it implies a few disadvantages, too. I would like to add that, even with equal advantages and disadvantages of globalization, It is hard to conclude if it is a joy or a main problem to the world. Okay, we are going to listen it again. Track 12, Students Walk, Unit 1, page 17, Exercise 1. <music> Professor Ramsey, Can you explain what globalization is? Well, it's hard to define the term globalization briefly. It can be said that globalization is a process by which people, companies, and governments all over the world can integrate and interact. In other words, we can say that the world has become smaller and is now a village. A global village, isn't it? Correct! It is easier to do business because of better transport, the internet, and more trading between countries. It is also easier to work in another country. How has this happened? 
During the last three decades, a large number of governments around the world have been acquiring the systems of free markets and maximizing their potential and opportunities for international business. Additionally, they have been working towards the elimination of limitations to business and trade of goods and services across the world. Which are the most important factors behind this process? Well, there's little doubt that technology has been one of the chief drivers behind globalization and has transformed the habits of both consumers and marketers. Thanks to technology development, goods are easily transferred from and received by countries, and business deals, mergers, and acquisitions have become a common thing these days. Now, let me ask you a controversial question, Professor Ramsey. Is globalization a good or bad thing? <laughs> oh, that's a difficult question to answer. As you know, there are always two facets of the same coin, and globalization has many advantages, but it implies a few disadvantages, too. I would like to add that, even with equal advantages and disadvantages of globalization, it is hard to conclude if it is a joy or a main problem to the world. Now pay attention, this is the last time we are going to listen. Track 12, Students' Book, Unit 1, Page 17, Exercise 1. Professor Ramsey, can you explain what globalization is? Well, it's hard to define the term globalization briefly. It can be said that globalization is a process by which people, companies, and governments all over the world can integrate and interact. In other words, we can say that the world has become smaller and is now a village. A global village, isn't it? Correct! It is easier to do business because of better transport, the internet, and more trading between countries. It is also easier to work in another country. How has this happened? During the last three decades, a large number of governments around the world have been acquiring the systems of free markets and maximizing their potential and opportunities for international business. Additionally, they have been working towards the elimination of limitations to business and trade of goods and services across the world. Which are the most important factors behind this process? Well, there's little doubt that technology has been one of the chief drivers behind globalization and has transformed the habits of both consumers and marketers. Thanks to technology development, goods are easily transferred from and received by countries, and business deals, mergers, and acquisitions have become a common thing these days. Now, let me ask you a controversial question, Professor Ramsey. Is globalization a good or bad thing? <laughs> oh, that's a difficult question to answer. As you know, there are always two facets of the same coin, and globalization has many advantages, but it implies a few disadvantages, too. I would like to add that, even with equal advantages and disadvantages of globalization, it is hard to conclude if it is a joy or a main problem to the world. Okay. Thank you very much for your attention, and remember to send your work to my email or to Miss Patricia email. You can also watch this recording on the YouTube channel CMCH. Goodbye, and have a very good week. Here, Miss Irene Gonzalez speaking. Recuerda enviar tu trabajo a mi correo y gonzález arroba cmch punto maristas punto cl o al correo de mis patricia eh, p pereda arroba cmch punto maristas punto cl eh, que les vaya muy bien y que tengan una muy buena semana goodbye my students <música>